ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Jurassic World Evolution video. I have set the... Uh, I all transported all the Strictiosaurus... Stigimolochs <laughs> over to the new enclosure, to the big one, to the herbivore enclosure. They're pretty happy satisfactory wise. I also have like two Gallimimus already released. Uh, is that one? Yeah, that's a Gallimimus. Unfortunately, because this is night, they don't really look too great. Uh, we still need two more. They're happy with the grassland, they're happy with the forest, they're happy with the population. So uh, we'll definitely get the two more uh, incubated right now. Because they are fairly cheap and that will be part of the mission done. Because we need four of those guys. Uh, for the, all the other stuff, it's very expensive. Like... Um, <clears throat> I can get <coughs> the little ones in here, uh, those guys, the Dinonicuses, <coughs> the T-Rex leaves them mostly alone, um, but they are 1.012 millions, and the this guy over here, which needs his own enclosure, that's why I actually transported them over, it's 2.5 million. Also off camera I got a new contract to increase my park value to... Uh, 20 millions and of course yeah awesome both of them failed even though I have I added all the three <coughs> all the uh, bonus laps and everything um, so we we get the chance the chance that ha that that has happening is lower but apparently is not also we could increase our power output of the power station we don't really need to do that right now but we unlocked the improved power output three uh, it's 100k uh, we don't need it right now but for uh, just to remind you in, instead of building another power station we can just increase the power output and you fail again why why probably because it's mission critical dino it's just something that happens, so you get kind of a little bit screwed. Uh, my income right now is okay-ish, 200k, and of course we have a sick dinosaur. Oh crap. Ah well. Understood. Now we have two ranger teams. I actually just wanted to send the one team. I mean, while we are waiting anyways, uh, drive the vehicle, we're gonna do it manually. I will probably also take a photo because that will give us some money as well. We don't need to do it right now, but we are gonna go to do it. And oh yeah, that's the one where we did the gate in a weird kind of ish place, where we have to go through. Uh, not through here. Yeah, break. I'm probably gonna go and try to put it in a second gate over there, at the front somewhere. Yeah, definitely want to do a second gate up in the front somewhere. Oh, you're already here. Um, go asset. night night. Yep, you gotta get your medication. You're medicated. Oh, where are you at? Gallimimus. Wow, a thousand. That's not quite a lot. Maybe we can see one of the... Two of those guys. Panicking. <laughs> yeah, sure. <clears throat> because probably we are too close-ish. Let's see if we can put a gate up here somewhere. <clears throat> oh, we could put a gate right over here. Or actually in between here. I guess in between here. That's actually pretty good. And the two Gallimimus is already for release. So let's have a look as he comes out. Because you guys haven't seen that yet. <clears throat> blue, blue. Yeah, but they're already good, so I do not have to pay too much attention to those. Yeah, we already seen that. That's the fourth Gilmamus. And actually, let's check the gyrosphere. Um, 170 people. The value tour. Total per minute. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. Let's check. Nope, the shelter is good. 
Uh, fast food joint. Oh, there is a storm warning. Uh, we gotta open the shelter. Um, yeah, while this is happening, we are going to check. We actually have quite a bit. So we get a second staff member in here. That's okay-ish. Uh, this one over here, the gift shop. Just probably a second staff member as well, for now. Is it again like a tornado? Add a task, get over here. Last time it was a tornado which was coming right into the island and doing horrible things to me. But I don't see a tornado this time, so we seem to be kind of okay-ish. I mean, we have to up to to help the ranger station out for sure. And how much was it for the Cosmosaurus? The Cosmosaurus was the little trike thing here. There it is. Just 250k? Oh, I haven't upgraded this one. I see. Uh, I probably won't upgrade this one, though. Oh, crap. Power station is completely out, which is, of course, horrible. Uh-huh. Oh, you just fixed it. Awesome. Power station is good. The storm has passed. No dino managed to escape. Close all shelters. I just have the one shelter so far. But still. I thought I built a second fast food joint or anything. Large substation. I did not. Okay. Uh, so we need two of those guys. <clears throat> we are not going to do anything with them. So uh, just for the purpose of the mission, they should hatch with no problem. It's like 160%. Uh, we still could upgrade them afterwards. We still need to kind of make a much more money so we could actually get everything else done. I mean, we need two point something millions for this one. 2.5 and 1.021 for those guys. So I probably need to wait till we reach like 2 millions to do that. Uh, actually, let's check how is the satisfaction of food. Everybody's covered with food here. Drinks. Everybody's good with drinks. Shopping. Everybody's good with shopping right now. That's good. That's actually pretty decent. Those guys are incubating very slowly, but they are. And I mean, I still can build an enclosure in here. A big-ish one. Uh, which we probably will do for another carnivore. Probably the Indominus. I'll probably put the Indominus Rex up here. Oh yeah, by the way. Ah. Uh, if you go to the research and we go to in here, uh, also here, uh, the Indominus Rex. We need to complete the Is Islas no Isla Sorna mission for uh, the security mission. Uh, we need five research centers. Okay. We don't have that yet. And. Yeah, Indominus Rex, genome 100% and the Velociraptor, uh, we already have done, which is awesome. And we got the Indoraptor. Uh, we already have the Indominus Rex genome, and this one is from the, the Fallen Kingdom movie. Which is awesome as well. So if you haven't seen it, sorry for to spoil that for you, but he uh, it will be in there, in this movie. By the way, um, now I'm actually gonna wait till like a couple more episodes till I talk about the movie, <clears throat> what I think thought about it, what I thought was good, what I thought it was bad. It is a good movie. I liked it. A Jurassic World movie, dinosaurs and stuff. I love I love the humor in the movie. Uh, it's 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 as good as in the first it's one. A dangerous world. Uh, I don't have a Velociraptor yet, danger. so decline. And we probably could do a big powered enclosure. Well, we don't really have a lot of power here. Um, but we could probably get... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
uh, I was thinking about an uh, an empower empowered fence and get like uh, um, Dilophosaurus in there or something like that. We reached a new profit per minute limit of 242k. How many people do we have? 800. The capacity isn't great, so we will need a hotel at some point. Maybe the hotel would fit right in here. Just to see if it would fit. Nah, it won't. It won't fit in here anywhere. Nah, I did that one badly. It probably will fit in here, but like I said, I probably want the... It would fit over here. But would we have place for the monorail then? Because I also want to get the monorail in. Not really. I wanted to get the monorail in here. Could we get it in here? Nope. Could we get it on the other side? Oh, we could get it actually on the other side then. So yeah, we could build a hotel in the center. And still have the monorail coming down here. Actually, do we have the room to start the monorail up here somewhere? From the start? Not really. No, we don't actually. No chance in hell we can fit that in here. Well, maybe if we would remove the power line and move the power line around a bit. Yeah, like this building is just obstructed by the power line. So there is maybe a possibility to just move the power line through here. Something like that. But for now, that's not what we are going for. Okay, so release. I have never released one of those guys, so... Interesting to see how they look. Ah, ordinary. A trike with a big shield on his back, sort of it. <laughs> oh yes. <clears throat> how happy are you? Holy crap, you're not very social. Yeah, we definitely need the second one of those guys right away. And hoping that that will help with the social aspect. Otherwise, we will have breakouts of those guys all the time. <clears throat> and we have 2.5 million. So I think we're gonna incubate two of those guys. I think two should be good. <clears throat> and I probably need another feeder on this side. Uh, One over here. Probably another life bait feeder as well. There we go. Uh oh, I destroyed a little bit of forests. You still good though. Ew. Not very social though. <laughs> uh, how are you looking? I need a third one. But the population is already nearly too high. Can we sell one of the Strictio Stiglemolochs? No, if we will sell one of those, they're not happy either. That's not very good. What's the problem with you? Population is nearly in the red as well. We would need a third one to get the social aspect done. But if we get a third one, the population will be too high, I'm guessing. Let's try to finish the mission first. So as soon as we are up at 2.5 million, we will be able to incubate this guy over here. <coughs> and I think I have to wait till I have everything ready to go and then release them together immediately. I mean, yeah, I think that's probably a good thing to do. I probably want to build the hotel by now. Oh, we don't have the money for it. Never mind. <coughs> I was thinking to put the hotel down here now, in the center of the island. It's a very strange island to build on, to be honest. Like, with this narrow spacing and everything, it's kind of annoying to build. But otherwise, it looks okay-ish. If they start to freak out and start to, to break out, that will be a problem. Comfort is going down because of the social aspect. Food, they are good on food. We have, like, the three feeders in here. Probably could put another feeder down over here. 
You are together. Your social should go up. I probably could build. Uh, <clears throat> not really, <clears throat> because of the. Nah, it's not worth it. Or thinking of like splitting it, like building a wall in here. Then move those guys over here. Where they have their own enclosure, but it's a fairly big enclosure. And they are already not happy with the. the pop or nearly not happy with the population. Same goes for you guys. You're actually getting very close to be annoyed. Uh, how about the Gallimimus? So over the Gallimimus, we could put in much more dinos for those guys. They don't care. Uh, how are we in grassland and forest and everything? We are actually good in that. Should I just put a third one in there? And risk it? Yeah, let's put a third one in there. Uh, there it was. Well, we're gonna modify the genome for this one. Uh, let's go with the coastal pattern. Um, let's make it as good rating wise as possible. Which is mostly the, all the way down. It's 79, 88. Uh, 89. Nope. Uh, move one over. The crap. My ability goes down to 1%, but yeah. Can we get the viability up? Well, if, if we just leave it at that, it will be at 1%. Well, we could get the rating to 1. Nah, we're gonna leave it at this then. And now you cost 800k. Which is wow. You would both be ready to be released. But I'm gonna wait till I actually can release this one as well, so we will have all five dinos, all four dinos, in the immediate <clears throat> position. Um, I'm actually, actually, yeah, let, let's hatch one, well, it's 800k. And the population will go up. Still, I'm gonna risk it. So their social will be good, hopefully. Uh, maybe we are lucky and they don't count themselves to the population. We will see. We will figure that out together, guys. Uh, hotel. Nope, we need 750 for that. Um, I mean, I could probably... Let's try the power conduit to go over here and then over here. So we can actually delete this one over here. And then just to see if the monorail would fit in here. Still obstructed. Oops, wrong side, wrong side. Terrain constraint. You're obstructed by what? Probably by the road. So if we would move the road a bit like this. Uh, oh, because the... Wow. Okay. Because they were not connected, the road was not connected, the power didn't get through. Okay. Interesting to see. So now we should be able to put down the monorail. I'm not going to put it down right now because of money issues, but it was blue there for a second. There, it was blue again for a second. Yeah, we could put it right over here. So we would have the room to build it. Oh, we unlocked a new island, Isla Sonora. Which is... It's reclaimed by nature, tamed the, the lost and abandoned site B. Earth. Bring it Earth wild, inhabitants under exists, control. Obviously, if there's a place where dinosaurs look like they should live, ambitious, heavily landscaping will be required to yeah, build a large facility so well here, but it has great times. potential. Jeez. Now I sound like Malcolm. Create a rare and extraordinary dinosaurs across the largest facility to date. That would be nice to go there. That will be the last island to go there, but we're gonna stay here right now. We are not done here yet. We are not done. Definitely not done here. 
41 percent ah, we're getting there so i'll tell you what guys i'm gonna put another cut in here uh let some time pass so we can get some more money up and ready to go uh so we can actually incubate the last one we need to fulfill this mission well, it's actually not really a fulfilling of the mission. We probably get to the second step afterwards. But just to see what the second step will be, we need at least 2.5 million so we can in start incubating the... Uh, Metricantosaurus. But that's going to be in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.